Yo, 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 what's up? <clears throat> it's your girl Free coming at you again with another vlog. If y'all hear that chicken in the back sizzling, it's because I'm cooking. You know, I always got to eat, got to keep the booty right, keep it nice and tight. But I had to bring y'all another vlog because I was so happy about the response I got from my first vlog. I just really appreciate everybody fucking with me for all these years. Even when I was making videos with Kevin Edwards, like, you guys always showed me mad love. Like, I fuck with y'all. So I really definitely am happy that people are still tuned in, tapped in to hear what a bitch gotta say. Like, period. That's just what it is. I got shit to say. I'm gonna speak the facts. And that's just what it's gonna be. <clears throat> okay, today's topic of this vlog is really about an ongoing issue that I've Keep, I keep having it, period. I keep having the issue. Ooh, bitch lips chapped. Got crusty lips. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Let me go ahead. You know, every female got one of these. Gotta go ahead and put some. You feel me? Boom. But anyways, <clears throat> I keep having this ongoing issue with dudes I've dealt with in the past. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, whether you like females, whether you like niggas, whether you're a nigga that likes niggas or a female that likes females, or just somebody that likes the opposite sex. We all go through the same shit. Like, people could try to make it seem like, oh, well, you don't go through it because you're a girl or because you're a guy. No. No. We all go through the same shit, and everybody has that one person, if not multiple, like me, that can't let the shit go. Like, we fucked. Maybe it was years from here, years from now, you know, last week, yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. But we did that. We tapped out. We decided, hey, boom. You know, for whatever reason, God put us our separate ways. Am I the only one that has a person or people? Actually, I got people. I got people. Let's just say that. That can't let it go. We did it one time, bro. One time. And I won't even say it's always just about sex. Just can't let me go in general. Whether it's the pussy, the mouth, the eyes, the hair, whatever. The booty, the tits, whatever. You just can't let it go, bro. Like... If we dated when I was 18, 19 years old, I'm not the same female, okay? It's like, you need to, in your mind, consider it that she's someone different at this point. You don't know this freak. You don't know 28, 29, you feel me, 27, 26 free. You just don't. That's the free that'll bat a nigga, okay? Quick, out, gotta go. See you later, deuces. The old free might have been like, oh, okay, well, let me give a nigga a chance. No, no more chances for y'all. So you got to learn how to let some shit go. I get multiple messages from exes, from dudes I dealt with in the past that just won't let it go. Oh, you know, when we going to hang out? We're not. Sorry, sir. We're not. When we going to kick it? We're not. When I'm going to get that pussy again, <laughs> you won't, won't, <laughs> you feel me? Well, you be on some bullshit is, is, sure is, you know, and it's like, why can't you realize the spark's been gone? Okay, you see this candle? Blew out, bitch, gone. Spark's been done, over with. We moved on. I might fuck around and have a whole new nigga. And you still trying to get up in this. And it just makes me wonder, like, where is your mind? You see this right here? Go ahead and grab it, drink it, the whole shit. Because mm. you're thirsty. Period. Period. And there's no reason in 2020 for this behavior to keep going on. Like, you had it. Be lucky. You know what? As a matter of fact, go to church and thank God. Thank God you got it, because a lot of people don't get it. So thank God that you was blessed with a chance. But sometimes chances come and go, baby. They do. Mm-hmm. They do. So with that being said, 
stay out of my inbox. You know, we did it one time. And then they love to remind you. Well, you wasn't saying that that night. Nigga, I wasn't saying nothing. Nine times out of ten, I probably was drunk. I probably was drunk. Maybe I was high back when I used to smoke weed. You know what I mean? And, okay, they give you a vivid step-by-step of how it went down. You thought about this for a long time. This is a memory that you can't get out of your mind, bro. And I don't know. I mean, it's a compliment at the same time. But at the same time, it's not. It's not. So I just want to know, is there other people out there in the world that are developing stalkers at this point? We need to realize. I don't hit up old dick and be like, ooh, can I get that again? No, because guess what? I don't want it. It's changed. Nine times out of ten, it was probably too big anyways. You know I done got on my medium dick niggas. You big dick niggas will end a bitch career, life, the whole shit, not doing it. But it's like, let's just think about this before we hop in inbox asking for old pussy and dick, period. Because nine times out of ten, if the nigga or bitch ain't hit you, she don't want it. She's moved on. There's something new. And just because you got it before don't mean you gonna get it again, baby. Because I'll be quick to hit a nigga like, we did what? When? Prove it. And like that. That's just what it is. So, you feel me? If you relate to this video, like, share, the whole shit. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making videos every single day that I can because I do work. A bitch do got a 9 to 5, even though it's a 12 to 12. But you know what I mean? Like, let me know what you think. Drop a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think. Repost it. And if you don't agree, you don't agree. But you a motherfucking liar. I know you is, bitch.